You know that little floating valve inside the tank of a toilet? It prevents the tank from overflowing? Well, if you didn't know, we call that a ball cock. <laughs> and it was invented by a plumber in Britain in the 1800s named Thomas Crapper. No lie. It's funny because it's true. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Young and Stuff. If it's your first time here, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about toilet humor. I mean, um, the alleged inventor of the toilet and how unfortunate his name is. But before I do that, if you like origin stories and little known fun facts and sometimes other stuff, then you're in the right place because that's what I do. So hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, ring the bell for notifications so you get updates on all future episodes. Awesome. Let's go. Thomas Crapper supposedly invented the first flush toilet. Wouldn't that just be appropriate? Crapper is named after Crapper. <laughs> but in truth, Thomas Crapper wasn't even born yet when the first flush toilet was invented. The honor of that distinction goes to Sir John Harrington. Now, if that name sounds vaguely familiar, that's because it's said that he is a distant relative of Game of Thrones actor Kit Harrington. But from the research that I've gathered, it appears that they come from two different Harrington lines. Despite this, Kit still claims the relation. Apparently, that's more appealing to his American fan base than having royal ancestry. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Anyways, Sir John was the godson of Queen Elizabeth I and built the first flushing toilet in 1596 for her. But she complained that it was too loud. Forms of water flush latrines have been found to exist since the Neolithic, but John's design had a flush valve to empty the tank and a washdown design to empty the bowl. He installed one for his godmother and one in his own home after publishing a new discourse of a stale subject called the Metamorphosis of Ajax, which included a description of his new toilet. From this day forth, all the toilets in this kingdom shall be known as... John's. <laughs> These first toilets probably had a problem with overflowing, which led to Crapper inventing the ball cock. <laughs> he also held several other patents for his inventions, which included manhole covers, pipe joints, and drain improvements. Arguably, Crapper's biggest claim to fame was that he opened a showroom for toilets. Because they were all functioning toilets, customers could even try them out before buying them. <laughs> Gross. But th and this was at a time when it was widely considered inappropriate to even acknowledge bodily functions in public. Joni, um, was that you? In Westminster Abbey, you can still find manhole covers sporting T. Crapper sanitary engineers. And why not? He replumbed the entire building. Old school original Crapper toilets can still be found around the city chain pulls and all, and a plaque commemorating Crapper's achievements can be found outside his home in the London borough of Bromley. That's it for this one guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, ring the bell for notifications so you get updates on all future episodes. See you next time. I gotta hit the jaw. I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Huh? And a one, and a two, and a preventing the buildup of coffee particles in the mustache. Oh, <laughs> a ball cock. <laughs> yeah. Because there's nothing more distracting than seeing coffee drip off of somebody's mustache when they're trying to talk to you. No lie. Train. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Do not disturb, do not disturb, do not disturb! <laughs> Train! I don't know what that was. Train! Dun 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 dun. Crapper invented the crapper! You're a train! I almost had it. Now I know where my son gets it. His 
weird freak out. Yeah, nailed that one. Bullcock. Start spreading the news. The train's gone now. It's probably safe to do the rest of the show. Train. And one in his own home. Three, two, one. Sir John was the godma. <laughs> Anyways, in the London borough of Bromley, in it, in it, Bullcock. <laughs> we called it that. I'm leaving today. Held several other patents. In I'm so childish. That's entertainment. This is the way.